In past videos, we've mentioned the option to create rules or validators, and we really haven't talked about the difference or why you would create one versus the other. So that's what we're going to look at in this video. Rules are in fact just validators with a few extra features, which means you can follow our other videos on creating different validator types and apply that information to rules. The only difference in implementation between rules and validators comes from how they are registered, which means we can easily convert a regular validator into a rule or vice versa by changing the registration attribute at the top of the validator class. Rules use register validator rule, whereas regular validators use register validator. Additionally, just like with regular validators, rules can be created from scratch using the Odin context menu. When we register a validator as a rule, two main changes occur. The first is that the validator is serialized, and the second is that it will show up in the rules tab of the validator window. In the rules tab, we have the option to toggle rules on and off, as well as potentially configure our rule using the gear icon to the right of the rule name. Any public or serialized fields in our rules will then show up in the configuration menu. These can then be used for any number of purposes. For example, in our scene validator video, we created a list of strings where each element was the name of a required object. In a value or root object validator, you might add a float field to check for a min or max value. Everything that can be done to configure a rule can also be done within a regular validator. The ability to configure within the validator window is simply a convenience to help speed up the workflow of your project. When we're trying to decide whether to use a rule or a validator, our rules of thumb go something like this. If you want to be able to toggle a validator on and off, use a rule. If you want to easily configure a validator, use a rule. If you want a validator to always run and not be toggled on and off, then use a regular validator. If you want to learn more about how to create rules and validators, you can check out our earlier videos or our written documentation that cover each type of validator. 